Welcome back. Um, so I want to do a little uh, will it start video on this uh, old dumper. It's been sitting there now for a few years again. Don't know when I last started it. Um, it was only a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, I was using it and it looked just like this. <laughs> um, including that wheel which has long since lost its rim. But it's actually done quite a bit of work like that. Um, five horsepower, I think, single cylinder petter. Um, AV, what is it? AVA1. There's uh, no good reason in the world this engine should run. It is uh, the blow by and stuff is ridiculous. But the rest of this thing is just so shot. I am um, considered restoring it several times or just sticking it in the back of the shed and doing it someday. But even restored there, they don't make any money. Um, you can still buy a reasonably good one for next to nothing. Um, I've never seen one quite in this configuration. The engine's usually um, the other way around or mounted much lower down. Um, last time I moved it, the steering seized up. Um, yeah, this won't turn. Uh, I think it might be a Land Rover, maybe someone knows. Is it a Land Rover Series 1 column? Um, and I have a feeling the front axle might also be Land Rover. I uh, don't know what the gearbox is, but the, I believe the clutch down there is actually a, something like a Triumph Hel Herald brake drum or something like that. Um, there is no clutch pedal. Uh, it's got a coach bolt going right through to lock it all together, so we just put it in and out of gear. Uh, gearbox is fairly shot as well. It, first gear is okay, jumps out reverse, jumps out second, sticks in third if you ever put it there. Um, I think the accelerator... The throttle thing has fallen to bits with rust. Yeah, that's all come apart. Uh, there should be a rod that goes through there. Um, there's no diesel in it. So, the tank leaks. Oh, something in there. Probably diesel. Um, there's no injector return line. Nothing ever comes out of it. There's probably no nozzle on the injector. It just dumps the diesel straight in. <laughs> um, crank start. No electrics. Um, it's been we've had it around here on the farm for 30, 32, 33 years. Um, moving silage, moving cow dung, moving concrete blocks, gravel, all sorts of stuff. Very handy thing to have around, but really, it's probably past it now. So I'm getting rid of other bits of scrap. Um, there's a few other things around the place need to go, so I've decided this can this can go with them. But I am going to pull this engine, um, see if I can get it started first, since it's been sitting here for so long. Um, parts for these are actually available off some of the vintage engine crowds, and uh, yeah, not a bad thing to have around the place. It's uh, I'd keep it there even if it was just I don't have a reason. I just keep it. Um, not the most eco-friendly thing in the world when it's running. <laughs> yeah, but it's got a chain drive. A uh, big chain on there, which is probably going to be one of the next things to really let it down if you're not using it. It, it does get loose and slip and stuff. Um, so it's a chain driven gearbox. Uh, I, hit, I used to hit that tensioner with a hammer to uh, keep it engaged. There are no brakes, never have been. There are mechanical drums on the front of it. Um, if I can get it started, I'll tip the bucket and get rid of that stuff out of it and uh, show you the front axle. There's, <laughs> I think there's a hole rotten straight through the front of the front diff cover. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, get some fuel in it. Um, just a decompression lever, probably seized. Yeah, this seized solid. So, I'll have to try and free up that and see what it does. Right, these are the tools I expect to need to get this running. Um, there's diesel in a thinner's drum, it's a bad idea. I've mistaken that for thinner's several times now. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what we can do.
Lovely. About as expected. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Just gotta. <clears throat> Generally far, far too much. Quite a nice crank handle. <clears throat> Right, I'll give it a shot. This thing does not go without easy start. So. Never has. It's not true. If you crank it enough before you have a go, you can get it going in decent weather. Of course, uh, it gets tiring cranking that thing fast.
There you go. Right, so without all these springs, clearly it has no way of governing itself, so can't really get it to stay doing anything. Um, probably replace this rod and free all this stuff up and that'll all be okay again. Um, but yeah, that's why it won't stay going. Uh, Now, regardless of it being an atrocious part of the crap, um, it's amazing how this steel has uh, really held up. I mean, it's been sitting around for... It's been outside most of the time we've had it, <laughs> which is a long time. And it's still, you know, it's not rotten through everywhere. The seat's pretty bad. I mean, this angle iron is still pretty much perfect. Everything under the engine is nice because they've uh, obviously it's all been coated in oil. Um, I think I'll keep that axle as well, um, and probably that tow bar section. I might cut the thing in half. Um, I know, it's a bit of a shame to just give up on things like this, but it really is pretty damn bad. It's got Mazda 323 steering wheel now. I think that replaced the Mark II Escort one a few years ago. <laughs> That's the play in the steering, by the way. I believe that's held together with, uh, well, was held together with inner tube. Uh, yeah, that came apart when I had a full load of blocks in it one day. Luckily that um, rim on the back tends to uh, act as a brake when it cuts into the ground. And if you don't put too much air in the tyres so it can't run away too quickly, it helps. The bottom of the bucket's rotten out as well, there's a huge hole in that. So yeah. Right, just welded a bit of a M6 bolt onto the end of that rod. Uh, believe it or not, these all thread out just fine. Um, so hopefully that'll sort the governor out. I'll give it another go now.
Okay, it's safe to say this thing is done. <laughs> that governor is sticking, so I just possibly keep running. There, a hole there. And straight through the diff cover. Still island there. And everything's just rotten. So, it's probably the last time I'll move that thing. None of this is working properly. It's all shot. Now, is that a Land Rover axle? Does anybody recognize it? Maybe it's something else, could be a car axle, but. Um, yeah, not this gearbox is something written on it. I might try to identify that just out of interest. I made a mess, tipped it in the wrong place. Had to get the 20 out to sort it out. Um, there's one thing I liked about this. Oh, on the badge. Use an iGenuine Petter Spares, when writing quote engine number. <laughs> Imagine having to write for parts these days. The 20 on the other hand, this thing is good. Um, it does have a bit of a crack in the block, um, where they all crack on the other side just behind the starter. Um, seat broke off. But yeah, it's not restored, but you know. It's useful as it is. Good start. Quite a handy thing to have around. So that's about it for that, really. Um, yeah, it's time it went. It's nearly killed me a few times already. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's run away down a the hill there on the years ago. I'm sure my mum nearly ran over me when, it, when I was a kid. I got given out to once because uh, I had a bunch of my friends in the bucket when I was about 10 driving them around the yard. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll call it a day on that one. Yeah, so the decision to finally put that thing in the scrap heap was what I needed to just go and make a little start on it. Um, it had been sitting there for a while and I'd been thinking about it for a while to, that I should do it. So um, that's that done anyway. Um, I will be pulling the engine out of it and uh, yeah, I think there's a lorry coming for scrap pretty soon. So it's back to the van for now. Um, nearly last few little things to do on that. Um, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please subscribe and hit the like button as well if you want. I think it helps quite a bit. Uh, a few videos coming on the other blue vans here in the shed. And then I've got, yeah, a few other things in the pipeline, a few other ideas. So we'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, speak to you next time. Cheers.